Hi there, I'm Adam and I'm going to take you through the virtual regatta inshore game today. Just a bit of the functionality and some top tips. So before you start, always worth uh, editing and finishing off your profile. So I've just clicked on my name there, my, my um, well, username. The, um, the little green button in the corner there is what you press to finish off your profile. I'm not going to go into it now because uh, it's got all my details in there and they are top secret. Uh, so I won't press that now, but if you go in there, you can finish your profile, change your password, uh, all key little bits and pieces like that. And it also then allows you to sail in the eSailing World Championship uh, official events, which is great if you get into this game because you can compete with people all over the world. The, if you're new to the game, I'd always recommend going into the sailing school, so left hand side, sailing school, and finishing off your training. So in here, there's loads of different training modules. Uh, we'll do the points of sale one here. So if I press play on that one, it'll take us into this one and I'll just quickly run through the, the points of sale. So bottom left corner is where your steering is. And for this one, it's actually got some really helpful arrows that you just follow. Unfortunately, when you're racing, those arrows do not appear because this is like your training wheels and they, they take them off. So at the minute, I'm just trying to sail the boat using the steering in between the, the yellow marks. Uh, when I get to the end, it'll say congratulations and uh, you've completed this, this section of the module. So just fairly simple at this stage, just left and right, trying to, uh, trying to follow the arrows. And here we go, through the finish and congratulations, we've finished points of sale. It'll then take us out of there and uh, back onto the training module. And what I'd do if you're new to it is just go through these different bits. Uh, and just have a go at them all because it just really helps you uh, learn the functionality of the game. Once you're up to speed, you can then uh, get involved and get, get going with some racing. So, so selecting one of these at the bottom, you can enter a race. At the minute, uh, there's two that have just finished. Uh, there's a, a pro racer going on, but you need to use some uh, of your tokens to, to take part in that one. So I, I usually steer clear of that one unless I'm flush with tokens. Uh, and I just go for this uh, free to enter, uh, uh, the free to enter events, which in this case is the uh, pop up e sale GP, which is exciting. So when I go into this bit, it shows you a bit of information about what the, the format is, the boat that they're sailing, uh, the minimum races to, to qualify for the overall results, um, and then, yeah, just the, and the course there. Uh, what you'll see here is this is the current, um, the current races. So you'll see I'm, I'm down in a lowly 572nd, having only completed five races, so I need to complete a few more. Uh, and that in the UK rankings, uh, faring a bit better in 21st there, but again, only done five races. So that'll hopefully go up as I uh, complete a few more races. But it, it's quite cool that you can be ranked internationally and also uh, nationally as well. So that, that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, and then you can see my results there. I've got a couple of good results there, first and second, a couple of fourths, and uh, uh, it just all went wrong in race four there. So... Um, yeah, that shows your results. And also here, you can actually select any of these that are going on and you can go in and watch the races live. Uh, I won't do that now because um, we're going to go into a, and do a race ourselves. But yeah, you can just select them and wa watch virtually if you wanted to watch a bit of racing and see what's going on. Uh, so what we'll do here is we'll go into a race and I'll go show you some of the functionality. So I'll just press uh, the green button here and that'll take us into the race. So here you've actually got your race helps. So um, these are little mini cheats, I call them, that, that sort of support you throughout the race. So there's timing at the start line, ley lines, uh, best VMG, wind shadow and wind, wind intelligence. So all kind of do what they say on the tin. Uh, but for everyone you select, you'll use up some of your tokens. So the, the green tokens in the corner, you can see I've got, um, I've only got four of that, 20 of them at the minute. So if I uh, used them all now, I'd use, well, it's a maximum of five, uh, five options here. But if you select them all, it's all for four tokens, so a bit of a bargain. Uh, however, I usually just select one. I usually just select best VMG. 
Uh, the reason that is, is because when we get into the game, you'll see that's the most useful in my opinion. I always select that one and save my 19 tokens for future races. However, as the, doing a bit of a demo for you here, what I'll do is I'll select them all so you see them all in action during this, uh, this little game. And then we'll enter the game. So into the game here at Marseille and we're entered here into the start box. So there's no race going on yet because you'll see the seven of ten players. So we're just waiting for a few more players to come into the game uh, until, until we can start the game. So while I'm doing that, I'll just run you through a couple of functions. So the red button here, that allows us to tack or if we're heading downwind, allows us to jibe. pressing that red button you'll see we've just come into sequence there uh, in the top left corner the course is now showing uh, so briefly and also um, you can now see that it's giving us a bit of wind information if I also if I press that top left corner it gives us an overview so an aerial view, view of the course if you prefer that or if you just want to look what's, what's going on uh, however if you press it again you come back to the the normal functions so we're in the pre-start now, 36 seconds to go. So I'm gonna get ready for the start. If I wanna slow down, I press the yellow button and that lets my sails flap. So flappy sails slow us down. And if I let that button go, we speed up again. So it's, but you've gotta hold it down if you want them to flap. But keep hold of it. Well, as soon as you want them to not flap, let it go. Uh, we're coming up to the start, so I'm gonna get moving a bit. Uh, these boats go pretty quick, so I'm probably a bit early then, so I'm just going to slow down again. Now I'm going to speed up, five seconds to go. We're reaching start in the Sail GP, so uh, trying to reflect what it's like in, in real life. Um, mediocre start for me there, I'd say, uh, but not too bad. So what I'm going to do here when we get to the top mark is try and stay out of trouble. And also I try and jive fairly early on this one. Oh, that guy's got out of... Got in a bit of trouble there. Nice jibe early there to get me in the race. Uh, in the sail GP, that's always my top tip, is to jibe if you can at that first mark. Um, right, we're getting down to the bottom mark here. As we get there, we're gonna steer upwind, trying to avoid a collision. Off we go. You'll see then I, I also press the best VMG. Uh, that now just holds our course. And then I'm gonna tack here as we're coming up to one of the boundaries. So sail GP, again, like real life has boundaries so you can't sail outside of those um, but now I've just tacked and I'm going to sail straight across to the other boundary uh, just remind you that you'll see the green button is on that's the auto best VMG that was one of the helps we selected at the start of the game uh, and that just holds our course uh, it's sort of the best course made good so it holds you uh, close to the no-go zone uh, sailing the best course to the wind on the next leg I'll show you what to do if you don't have that function I am just going to put a tack in there so I don't get a penalty. You'll see num boat in number five position there just had a penalty because his went uh, his name went red. Um, you um, it's a normal sailing rules, so normal sailing rules apply. So port starboard. Uh, there is a few differences and there's no protests in e-sailing unlike uh, normal sailing life. Uh, so if you get a penalty, even if you don't agree, you've got to just uh, you've got to just take it. I'm afraid. Uh, you'll see there's a guy, a couple of guys there just got penalties. Uh, a penalty, you don't have to do turns in this game. You just um, you just get slowed down for 10, 12 seconds. Um, so no 360s and stuff needed. You just have to, uh, yeah, you just get slowed down for a little bit. Uh, I'm just heading up here to try and make this mark. Probably not the best move. Uh, let that guy get away from me a bit. Uh, but off we go downwind. So on the downwind leg now, uh, got a bit of distance behind, but I think I slowed myself down there. Um, so coming up to the boundary, and I'm going to uh, jibe in a second. Uh, again, another little cheat's on, so it's showing us the ley lines. Uh, not always on that function. So the little dotted line to the right is the ley line. Um, I can, you can spin round, you can see where your competition are. Uh, again, with the little cheat at the minute, I can see the wind shadows, which are those lighter patches below our sails. Uh, so you want to steer clear of them, but again, that's only on if you've selected that little help. Right, we're on the ley line there, so I'm going to jibe. I'm actually going to jibe back here and then get ready for another upwind leg. 
Uh, every time you do a maneuver, the best auto VMG will switch off. So you need to remember to switch that back on. As I'm coming up to the boundary here, I'm just gonna do a tack, tack over. What I'm now gonna do is if you um, see close to my boat, there is like what looks like a little green flag. It's green because we're in the best, um, best zone for the wind. If you, for some reason, haven't or don't have enough tokens to have the best auto VMG, I'm just gonna take that off. And you'll see if I steer and I'm not close to the wind anymore, it goes red. If I steer back towards the wind, it goes green. But if I go too far, it goes red again. So you're trying to manually keep it, keep it in the green. And I'll just sail a little bit there, trying to do it manually. I'm gonna tack now because I'm near the boundary and it goes back in the green. So it's a bit more tricky without the best VMG on because every time there's a wind shift, you need to manually sort of steer slightly to port or starboard um, and just keep that flag in the green and avoid it doing what's happened there is it's gone a little bit red. So I'll bring it back, back into the green. Uh, so you can see the benefit of clicking this button and turning it green is that takes the hassle of that all away, which is why if you have green tokens, uh, my top tip is always to select best VMG because you can live without ley lines, uh, you can live without um, wind shadow information, but uh, a lot harder to play the game doing steering all by yourself. And you'll find uh, a lot of the other sailors are selecting best VMG as well. So to, to be competitive, uh, it's a good one to go with. However, just for the finish of this race, I will take it off. Uh, just to show you what it's like. Uh, we'll put a jibe in here. Coming up to the finish, uh, I'm gonna manually steer up here. Guys, just, oh, he's just, I, I had my fault there. I've got a penalty. So you'll see that my number's gone red. Uh, I didn't give him room at the mark uh, and it slowed me down for, for 12 seconds. As that runs out, you get going again, but that's just cost me a position at the finish there. Not giving him room at the mark, which I should have done. Um, and that's the game. What it does then is you'll finish, uh, it gives you some ranking points and um, you get a little barrel selected there. Sorry for all my WhatsApps coming through at once there. Um, gives you, you, you get a can. So this time I've got the yellow can uh, and I'm gonna show you what that helps with in a minute. It also gives you the race stats here. Um, so the finishing position of the boats, uh, showing how many points you've got. It also gives you some general stats which are always quite handy to know. Some uh, more in-depth, my personal stats. So you'll see the distance sailed, are just a uh, number of tacks, number of jibes, number of penalties, uh, just real good if you're into, into stats. Uh, and also the, um, a nice one just showing the position changes during the race. So interesting, there wasn't that many position changes in this race. There usually is, is quite a lot, but it looks like fair, a few position changes there, but not as many as I normally see. Uh, and then once you've had enough of your stats, uh, just press finish in the top corner and it'll take you out of the game. Uh, here you'll see that your can that you've just won appears in the bottom left corner. So press and open that. And then it'll show you what tokens you've won. So I've won a green token. I always love winning green tokens. I've also won um, some of the blue tokens, which as mentioned before, they help to for customizing your boat. Uh, so I've won a few of those tokens. If I then want to see how I'm doing overall, I just click back on that series. Um, overall, I'm up to 459th, so a few positions there. And I've just moved into the top 20 in the UK. So again, still need to do a few more races to fully qualify for that series, uh, but slowly, uh, slowly moving up the rank rankings there. Uh, so that is the, uh, a quick run through of the, the, the game itself. Um, if you want to um, set up some custom races, uh, you can do that. Uh, you can either get a VIP account, which is I think nine, 10 euros a month. I'm not sure what that is in pound world. Um, however, uh, you, can, you don't have to pay. You can create them yourself, but you need to use the tokens you've won in races and it's 200 of the red tokens every custom race. Uh, and you can select a number of different uh, different boats and different courses within that. Uh, but yeah, a few, few tokens there. Again, sorry for my family WhatsApp group keeps popping up there. Always getting in the way when I'm, I'll say, trying to work. I'm trying to play a game here. <laughs> um, 
so uh, yeah, so that's that's the game. Uh, I say for custom races, it'd be great if if clubs, if if someone, if you're a few of you at your club. Have a custom account, uh, then you can set up your own little club races and series. Uh, but what I'd do first of all is just get used to used to using and playing the game. Uh, if I've not mentioned it already, the other thing you can do here is uh, make friends. So if you know what your other friends handle, so uh, one of the RYA accounts is RYA 2020. Uh, so you can um, you can request friends and view friends. So I've selected them there, and then I'm just going to ask for them to become my friend. Uh, and then you can add friends onto your account and you'll just be able to see when they're online and stuff. So you can challenge them to maybe some races in the pro racer or, or just try and uh, see if you get into some similar races to them. Uh, so hopefully that was useful and that was just a quick intro into uh, Virtual Regatta in Shaw. Uh, hope to see you on the virtual uh, sailing, sailing course soon. Cheers, guys.